Hello Taurus, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your monthly reading for December 2018 for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon and Rising sign. I hope you well Taurus. So here are the cards, the general energies of the month. We have the Tower, the Two of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. The overriding energy of the month is the Hermit. Top two cards on the right hand side, love, romance and relationships. So I kind of think I'm going to read them all together because I think there's some crossover between love and um, personal relationships in the business front. Um, so the Fool, the Wheel of Fortune, the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. The bottom two generally represent um, business, finance and career. And I've also pulled down um, a couple of um, Oracle cards for further clarification. So we have the Hermit card. Now the Hermit card is um, shining a light to see your path clearly. Looking inward and um, having the knowledge within you to move forward in a situation. It can be about internal introspection. It can be about taking a moment out to sit quietly and understand what your goal is in life, where you want, what you want to achieve. You see the star in the lantern, this represents a star energy. It's a guiding light. It's a guide, it can, it can also represent healing, maybe after a time of, um, you know, illness. So yeah, I mean, this it can become, this um, card comes when you feel lost in a situation. Uh, when you don't really know the way forward properly, you don't really understand how to get out of a situation, uh, you don't know what your goal, even, goal is in life in, in, is anymore, and, and this is where you can actually get that clarity back, get that purpose back, move forward with purpose and um, the full facts in front of you. This is about having the knowledge within, this is about having the wisdom to move forward and sometimes it takes time out you know in the world can be quite a confusing place especially with high emotions and this is where you just take time out to um, listen to that inner knowledge that you have within you the wisdom that you have within you uh, the experience the facts um, and really weigh up all the pros and cons and then move forward with purpose because the star's energy is one of healing, it's one of um, clarity, uh, it can give you um, a purpose after a period of, of feeling lost um, and it can also give you, um, lead you to your success in life, your successful goals in life. So this card is a beautiful card um, it's a real guiding energy, it comes from within you, it comes from saying that you already know, you already have the knowledge within you to move forward and find your path. Uh, so yeah, it's beautiful energy, Taurus. Now I'm going to take these two cards together. <clears throat> we have the Two of Swords and we have the Tower. And I will start with the Tower first. So the Tower can... It can represent, I mean, we build many towers in our lives, so this is not uncommon. Um, this represents change. It can be change for the better. Um, I've noticed that you do have the four of wands here, so this could be about marriage. This could be about a change in your life um, that needs to happen, um, you know, to be happy and achieve success. So this is um, about, it can be building a structure that was... Uh, built on shaky ground and the heavens take the tower down because it um, yeah it, it tried to it's almost like challenging the heavens in a way and um, so built on false structures and it may be some of your beliefs have changed this is maybe you felt stuck and I'm saying that maybe you felt stuck in a situation because you have the two of swords and what the tower energy does and you know the, the tower energy isn't always great to experience but it's a necessity to actually propel yourself to move forward from a situation of feeling stuck maybe feeling stuck in life maybe feeling stuck on a personal front or a professional front and um, yeah whatever this is this is about 
propelling you to receive your future. And it can also be that you've outgrown this tower and even though you might feel comfortable um, in a certain situation, it's not good for you anymore. It's not serving you. It's not moving you forward. It's keeping you stuck. And this is where the heavens strike down the tower and destroy it. Um, you see how big these people are in relation to the tower. And I always find this really interesting, how big the people are in relation to the tower. And it's almost like you've outgrown it. You've outgrown your tower. And to achieve the success now, the crown, um, that is yours, you need to step back and build a new tower based on a new phase of your life, a new mindset. It could be um, changing your mindset, uh, moving forward in a situation um, that has kept you stuck before. And this is the card of being stuck. But you see this person has a blindfold on. They're not wanting to see the truth of the situation. You see the truth and clarity are represented by the swords. So they know what they need to do. They know in their mind what they need to do. Um, but they've, they've literally held off moving forward on a situation, on dealing with this situation. Um, it can be about making two choices and being confused about making two choices. But you have to look at the choices properly to to make that decision and the hermit energy Taurus the hermit energy says that you have all the facts now to decide on your path um, and as I say the path is clear this is truth and clarity so you just need to take the blindfold off and that's exactly what the tower is allowing you to do this tower energy is shaking things up um, so that you can move forward now into a new phase of your life um, it might well be that you've trusted, um, you know, that this has been built on a, a trust that wasn't stable. Um, so, yeah, as I say, I mean, this represents so many different scenarios, but the main energy is the same. So, you know, whatever this tower situation is, um, you're moving on from it. Um, you're moving on. It's bringing in a change and... Generally, it's a welcome change that the universe always has a plan um, for why it brings down certain structures, brings about certain situations, uh, pushes you mentally, physically, emotionally onto the next phase of your life. And you need it because at the moment you're not moving on and this is propelling you to move on. And if you do, and I'm just going to take these two cards together... If you do, look at what you can get. The Nine of Pentacles talks about here, the Nine of Pentacles talks about independence. It talks about being independent again. It's a card of abundance. Both of these cards are about abundance. It's about happiness in the home. Um, it's about material security, maybe after a period of, of feeling um, insecure. You you know, get material security. So this is the Pentacles card. This is the money card. This is about financial security and um, stability in the home. Um, and it's about abundance. It's about happiness. It's about getting things, um, yeah, re beginning to realise your goal. This is a nine. It's nearly a ten. So getting to your goal, getting to your goal after a period of being stuck, you're moving forward and it's prosperous for you. It's abundant for you. And the queen, the queen is a sign of success. The queen is a sign of, of focus. After not willing to focus, this is a sign of focus. So these are beautiful cards. The ability to stand on your own two feet, Taurus. Maybe after a period of negativity. So that's what it's bringing in. It's really, really positive. And I find it interesting that you have the card of, of instability and change, changing your home. You know, it could be rocking your very core, your foundations. Um, it could be in your home. It could be in your business life. It could be financially. And you're moving forward um, to this stability. This is stability in the home. You see, you see how the path works with these cards. Absolutely brilliant. And this could be about marriage. This could be about marriage, celebration. 
It's also a really good news card. Um, it's a card of abundance, but it's a, it's a good news card. Uh, it says potential and opportunity is around you. So dig deep to, to realise that because it bodes well in terms of financial success and material security in the home and happiness in the home. So this is a real card of abundance and prosperity. And it's all achievable from within. You have the knowledge, the wisdom to make this happen. The universe is propelling you to make this happen and then you can make it happen in your own world. Now, if we move on to the Fool and the Wheel of Fortune, well, actually, no, I'm going to start on the um, the Nine of Swords. So there's a period, it might be in business. Um, as I said, I do feel that these energies do cross over. <clears throat> so I'm going to read them together. Um, so something is making you stressed, keeping you up at night. It could be to do with this tower energy. It could be to do with this indecision, this period of feeling stuck, um, of not being able to move forward. Um, yeah, not being able to see the truth of the situation or refusing to see the truth of the situation. And there's this can be stress. It can be being up at night. It can represent insomnia. Uh, worrying about a certain situation and it can be to do with a home I'm just thinking the pentacles card is next to it, it can be to do with the home can be to do with finances um, and maybe there's a real worry um, but you need to you know this person is so preoccupied with negativity he's not seeing the truth and clarity of the sword situation the swords are giving him to the left of him you see these swords are not threatening they actually represent the truth and the clarity of a situation and both the Two of Swords and this Nine of Swords is a preoccupation with not wanting to see the truth, not seeing your path clearly, being so, um, letting the, I just feel that emotions are clouding you from seeing the bigger picture. But once you do, once you do, and this is near achievement, you're stressing about something. I mean, you have like literally one, two, three nines in this card. In this, in this card deck, you have three nines. You're near the end of this situation now. You have the ability to finish it. And I kind of think you will finish it because you've got the full card here. So, yeah, I mean, this is like the, the pentacles card again. Um, releasing yourself from this situation through the knowledge that's within you, through the answers that will lie within you, and bringing yourself happy changes. So this is about, I just feel this is about changing a mindset as well. Um, changing your circumstances for the better, yes, but it's also about changing a mindset. And once you do, as soon as you move out of this mindset to this mindset, potential, open to opportunity, um, which is what this card absolutely represents. Um, being open to, you know, open to... Um, abundance and so on and so forth then you release and you find the answers you see the path in front of you and it's this is a card of like good news a card of good news and happiness and this is a releasing situation so this is released you move on you let go and I just think these energies, this energy is telling you to let go of this situation and focus on the positive because there's so much opportunity ahead with the Fool card. And I talk about opportunity because you've got the Wheel of Fortune next to it. This can be to do with your destiny. This can be to do with good karma. This can be to do with good luck. Good news, good luck, Taurus, is open to you. And it can be being under the Nine of Pentacles materially successful if you just listen to your inner voice your inner um it, it, look at the facts of the situation and and move forward with full knowledge and capability this is about your capabilities about what you can put your mind to achieve so these are really positive cards taurus um, and yeah, as I say, you have a new a new beginning that's here with the fool. You have a new beginning offered to you, moving on from this situation, moving on from the tower. I just think that think the tower brings positive change in the long run, and this this situation is released to bring about positive change, 
that's that brings good fortune and good fortune can be about new love it can be about prosperity it can be about abundance happiness security material wealth um, new love relationships renewal of love so yeah i just think this is beautiful now i have two angel cards here and the first one says big happy changes and that ties in perfectly with the tower energy and also this four of wands energy the change might be long term for the better so yeah big happy changes so that's great that's a lovely message and then i have um this is um ancestors and angel oracle deck um air guardian shift your perception and that's exactly what i was saying that's exactly what i was saying in this situation in the two of swords situation move and change your perception and this has um this has a message so change the way you think and you will change your whole reality i mean that's massive and this is a thinker's card. And this is a thinker's card. This is changing the way you think and perceive situations for the better. And it says, when this card arises, it's an opportunity to learn about the way you think. You are being guided to recognise that not all you see is exactly the way you see it. Sometimes the mind can play mind games and sometimes our perceptions can be wrong. If you are being challenged or feel there's a lack of clarity and direction in your life at the moment, there's a good chance the way you're thinking or what you're focusing on has a lot to do with that reality. You are being guided to open your eyes and your mind, go beyond any limits you have set for yourself and recognise that the way you see the world is how you will experience the world. Opportunities are moving in your direction, but they will only open up for you if you are ready to do the internal work to support them the internal work to support them i just think that's a brilliant reading taurus i i hope it resonates with some of you um if you enjoyed it please do like share and subscribe and i do do weekly readings um but if I don't see you before Christmas, I wish you a very, very Merry Christmas and I will see you in the new year. All right, thank you.